Want to know the secret to winning more games in Madden 24? Help me! Help me! In today's video, I will show you four keys to victory to decide the outcome of most games. Got it! So if you want to see what four things you need to focus on to get more wins in Madden 24, stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor at MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my Denver Broncos Offensive and Las Vegas Raiders Defensive eBooks. If you guys want more help, you can download these or any of my eBooks simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. In today's gameplay, I had to use my birds once again, which brings me to my first tip, and that is if you want to win games consistently, you will have to be consistent in your approach, because consistency is key, meaning you will want to use the same things consistently, like same teams, same playbooks, and even the same offensive and defensive formations as much as you can, as this is the only way to maximize what you are doing. I always reference this quote from Bruce Lee who said, I don't fear a man who practices 10,000 kicks one time, I fear a man who practices one kick 10,000 times, because that is the only way to make something unstoppable is by perfecting it. I start this game on a defense and I will pretty much be using my big nickel over G scheme the entire game, but I'm just going to be focusing on tips in this video, so if you guys want to see more about the offenses and defenses that I was using in today's video, I will have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video, so stick around for that. The next key is predictability, as this is important to both offense and defense. Defense. Your goal as a defender is to make your opponent predictable while staying as unpredictable as possible, which is why I always suggest to put your auto alignment to base in every video that I make about this defense. And this is because being unpredictable is a weapon in Madden. So try to mix up your coverages and never run the same play too many times in a row so that your opponent can't come up with a plan for what you're doing. As you can see, since I'm running man zero on the first two plays and on the second play he hits me with a zig adjustment for the first. So on the very next play, I start switching up my coverages better. My opponent tries to mix in some run plays as well so I can't just play the pass. But one of the best ways to make your opponent predictable is by focusing on stopping one phase of offense, either the run or the pass. Because if they stop having success doing something, they will stop doing it, and that will make them one-dimensional. I choose to stop the run first, and I make all my pre-snap adjustments to reflect that, because I want my opponent to pass, since passing has a higher chance of turnovers and negative plays via sacks. Another way to make your opponent predictable is down and distance, as this is the best indicator for what your opponent is going to do in the next play. You only really get this in third and fourth down, but you want to get them to the point where it's an and long situation because it's too easy to pick up and short situations like this as you can really do anything to get a yard if he was in third and long i would have been able to guess pass and this blitzer would have gone straight for the quarterback and gotten an instant sack instead he tackles the running back and my opponent gets an easy first over the middle but it already looks like he's more of a passer as he scrambles with the quarterback on the very next play before making an unreal catch in double coverage for the go-ahead score which brings me to my next tip and that is tendencies are key you will want to try to pick up your opponent's tendencies as soon as possible. This can be what they like to do, whether it's run or pass on offense, or what they like to do in critical situations. He goes for two as well and barely gets it, which brings me to my next tip, and that is playing fundamental football. I know a lot of players like to go for two and do onside kicks and all kinds of stupid shit, but these things aren't consistent enough and will lead to more losses than wins. On offense, I want to watch to see if my opponent plays more coverage or if he's more of a blitzer. On offense, I'm pretty much going to be running the same I-form close scheme all game, and this is because I can stay unpredictable even though I'm only going to use about five offensive plays that I've mastered in this formation. I want to run the ball out of this formation, but my opponent has some sort of defense figured out that gets this defensive end in free on run plays. So my next tip is to be flexible, because flexibility lasts. How many times do you play someone who wants to do one thing, and when that one thing doesn't work, they just rage quit? So I try to run the ball as much as I can, but that that defensive end keeps getting in and I don't know why. So instead of burying myself, I just switch to passing more often and we get first downs that way while I'm trying to figure it out. He gets me into another third and long in the next play, but since he is having success with this cover three blitz, he keeps using it and I know he's going to be in on the very next play. So all I have to do is make an out route adjustment that beats cover three and we get a first down, but I can only do that because he got predictable with his coverage. In fact, he stays in that coverage for the rest of the drive, making my play calling selection very easy as I just keep hitting him with outside run plays and outside throws that get open underneath his dropping cover three cornerback because he's becoming predictable and not flexible enough to change what he's doing even though he clearly sees that it's not working as we drive the length of the field against this one play and punch it in from here i take the extra point because i'm not going to let someone else dictate what i know is right and i know that fundamental football will win in the long run back on defense down a point i know from the drive that this guy likes to pass 
So I sent a lot of blitzes his way, never using the same coverage two plays in a row, as he tries to hit his ziggurat once again, but I wasn't in a man coverage, to get him to another third and long, and now he has to pass. So I send the house, but he makes a great play on the sideline. He tries to run the ball in the next play, so I have to remind him that that won't work. So every time we shut down the run, he is less likely to do it again in the future. And he goes back to passing on the very next play, which, like I said earlier, is much more prone to turnovers as we get a huge interception and almost take it back to the house before getting tackled inside a field goal range. And now now we're going to have to play fundamental football once again as there's only about a minute left before half. So my main goal is to take the lead with no time left as clock is another way of controlling the game. And since he is still running whatever glitch blitz he is in a cover three, I just have to hit these speed out routes and go right down the field to get inside the five. But this is where the drive stalls as I try to hit a speed out route one more time but I get an out of reach animation that cost me a touchdown. So I decided to take the lead and go in half but I know a lot of Madden players would have went for it from here including my opponent as he tries to start the second half with an onside kick giving me a short field instead but at least he has learned his lesson and changed defenses and now he is mixing up his coverage from cover three to cover one but it doesn't matter as it appears he was relying too heavily on that glitchy blitz as we go right down the field taking a commanding 11 point lead so tell me now what was the point of going for two score is another indicator that makes your opponent predictable as i now know that he has to pass so on the first play i am consistently sending blitzes to get him to a quick fourth and long right away as i now know i can guess pass as well before I try to do it again, and he just barely beats my user to stay in the game. I switch up coverages on the next play, and now he's rolling as he scores to cut my lead in half. Now up only three, I want to kill Clock, but I still want him to respect my passing game so he can't run commit. So I take a shot and on the first play to stay unpredictable, before I pound the rock on the next two plays to get a first down. I try to pass once again to the speed out route, but I must have used that one too many times because he is now making the adjustment to take that away. So to stay unpredictable, I'm going to have to use a new play that he hasn't even seen yet in the PA Deep Cross go as we get a huge first down to get back into scoring range before I make my first mistake of the game and throw a touchdown ball too early resulting in an interception and leaving the door wide open for a comeback with only a few minutes left in the game. And now clock is a huge issue as I know he could probably run out the entire clock and score leaving me no time left so I'll have to play smart situational football to guarantee that I can even get the ball back because it's clear that I cannot stop his offense at this point as he is now going right down the field on me. If I can hold him to a field goal that's ideal or even get a turnover but he is clearly in control now as he runs the clock down to the two minute warning. At this point, if he gets too close to the end zone, it might be best to let him score so that I can at least guarantee to get the ball back, as he is now running the clock all the way down before snapping the ball, but I am not going to call any timeouts because I might need them, as he punches it in on the ground, leaving me way too much time with 31 seconds. All of which I might need, so I play situational football and let the kickoff go out the back of the end zone so that the clock doesn't start, but this also puts me in the center of the hash marks at the start of the drive. And now that I have to pass, I switch to a more pass heavy offense that he hasn't seen yet so I can keep my unpredictability level high in the gun wing flex offset and since he's mostly run cover three all game i have the perfect plan but i need to get to the hash mark for this to work so on my first play i just go to the sideline and out of bounds to see that he was in fact still in that cover three and now i just need him to be predictable and use that coverage one more time and on the next play sure enough that's exactly the look that i get so i set up what's probably my favorite one play touchdown in the game against cover three out of the pa double post as no one ever expects the tight end to be able to score from here and we take a three point lead with 18 seconds left but we still have to keep him from getting a field goal. And the little things are really starting to pile up now as he decides to return it and burns four precious seconds off the clock. Not that that matters anyways, we call our own cover three and get a game ceiling interception to end the game with a pick six to boot just to rub it in extra. So that's it, that's the video. If you guys enjoyed the content, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. And if you guys wanna see more about the offenses and defenses I was using in today's video to get the win, I will have links to them popping up on screen now. Other than that, thanks for watching. Until next time, Mad Money Shout out. Need more help or just wanna show you support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below